Kate? Well, for that, is your name I hear? Well, have you heard but something hard of hearing? They call me Catherine that do talk with me. You lie. In faith, you are called plain Kate and Bonnie Kate and sometimes Kate Kurt. But take this of me, Kate of my consolation. Here in thy mild is praise in every town. Myself am moved to woo thee for my wife. <laughs> moved? In good time. Let him that moved you hither remove you hence. I knew you at first. You were a movable. Why? What's a move? A joint stool. Thou hast hit it. Come, sit on it. Asses are good to bear, and so are you. Women are good to bear, and so are you. No such change as you, if me you mean. Alas, good Kate, I will not burden thee. For no need to be the young in the life. Oh, it's a life for such a sweet as you to catch, and yet as heavy as my weight should be. Should be, should buzz. Well, say it, and like a buzzard. Oh, slow winged turtle. Shall a buzzard take thee? I, for a turtle, as he takes a buzzard. Come, come, you wasp. If faith, you are too angry. If I be waspish, best beware my sting. My remedy, then, is to pluck it out. I. If the fool could find where it lies. Who knows not where a wasp is, where his sting and his tail. In his tongue. Whose tongue? Yours, if you talk of tails. And so, farewell. What? You mean my tongue and your tail? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Nay, come again. I'm a gentleman. That I'll try. I swear I'll cuff you with the strike so again! you lose your arms! If you strike me, you are no gentleman! And if no gentleman, why then no arms? A herald cape! Oh, put me in thy books! What is your crest? A cock's comb? A combless cock! So Kate will be my head! <gasps> no cock of mine! You crow too like a craven! Nay, come, Kate, come! You must not look so sour. It is my fashion when I see a crab. Why, there's no crab. And therefore, look not sour. There is. Then, show it to me. At glass, I would. What? You mean my face? Oh, well, I <laughs> such a young one. And now I say, George, I am too young for you. Yet you are withered. Tis with hair. I care not. Nay, hear you. In sooth, you scape not so. I chafe you if I tarry. Let me go. No, not a whit. I find you passing gentle. <laughs> One told me you are rough and coy and sullen, and now I find report a very liar. <laughs> Why does the world report that Kate doth limp? Ah! Oh, slanderous world! Kate like the hazel twig is straight and slender and brown in hue. Oh, let me see thee walk. Thou dost not halt. Go, fool! Whom thou keepest command. Did ever Diane so become a grove as Kate this chamber with her princely gates? Where did you study all this goodly speech? What does it stem for from my mother? Wait. A witty mother? Witless else her son. Am I not wise? Yes. Keep you warm. Mary, so I mean, sweet Catherine in thy bed. And therefore, thus in plain terms, setting all this shout aside, God, your father hath consented that you shall be my wife, you dowry greed on. And will you, nil you, I will marry you. Here comes your father. Never make denial. I must and will have Catherine to my wife. No! <laughs> Now, Signor Petruchio, I'll uh, speed you with my daughter. How well, sir, how well. It were impossible I should speed amiss. How now, daughter Catherine? In your daughter? What? Call you me daughter? Ow! Now, I promise you, you have showed a tender, fatherly regard to wish me went to one lunatic, a madcap ruffian, and a swearing jack. Ow! That thinks with oaths to face the matter out! Father, tis thus. Yourself and all the world that talked of her have talked of Miss. <laughs> if she be cursed, it is her policy. For she is not thrower, but her modest as a And to conclude, we have agreed so well together that upon Sunday, wedding day. And 
MC.